Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Recording uh, in progress. Today we are going to talk about the book of Zechariah. It's a book of prophecy, and, and there is a, a part of the end time, and it's revealed in a very beautiful way, different from the stories of the book of Revelation and Daniel, uh, which are main uh, tool for us to understand the end time. And a few days ago, in the middle of the night, God showed me uh, a little bit of things which I, I start to share with you so you can understand what's going to happen. Uh, because the, the confusion is coming to the church, they do not know the chronological order. Why well, I say chronological is the sequence of events, what can happen first, what second. And everyone, uh, you know, create his own theory uh, according to the way that he understands the Bible. And after that, he force people to believe it as it's a matter of, and, and he start his denomination. But the truth is only one, the truth, what God going to do it. So I'm reading from Zechariah 10, and uh, I'm going to say this for you to be able to understand uh, that part, like the, the book, the 12 tribes were divided in the time of son of Solomon into the upper house of his, uh, and the lower house. Uh, one of the Judah, which belonged to David, uh, and the other 10 tribes were alone. So he called them Israel, and he called the two tribes Judah. And sometimes he called them Ephraim, uh, the ten tribes. He called them sometimes Joseph, the house of Joseph. So be familiar with that. But Judah is always called Judah. And when he called Israel alone, that he means whole Israel. So you have to understand the context of what is written for you. But the thing which I hope that I understood it well, um, um, it's only the children of God or the children of Abraham who are going to make it to the place of God. And please don't be mad on me. Just continue to listen to the things. The children of God, because he said he is in the bosom of Abraham. So all of us are the children of Abraham, uh, children of the promise, children who believed God and followed him. Uh, of course, all of us know the Apostle Paul called this, you know, um, uh, the, everyone who is born of God, uh, his spiritually child, uh, son of Abraham in the spirit. But I'm adding, it's not only on the spirit, it's in, the, in, in definitely in the DNA as well. Uh, the children of Abraham were split. After that, um, they were dispersed around the world, especially the ten tribes. And some of them, the Judah, the remnant of Judah, went to Egypt. So this is the main uh, distribution of what happened. This is in the book, second book of uh, King, and you find the, the reference, same thing in the Chronicles. Uh, 17 till 25 you can find these places and you have uh, I preach about that several times but that's not the topic because today I'm going to say the chronological order written into the word of God that none of us can uh, is able to change it or make it according to his denomination or what he want to believe it's written in the word so the children of Abraham are the only one who will be doing it to the, uh, to the end time to be with God and there is some of them who are, they don't know even that are children of Abraham. That's the, the mystery of it. Um, so it's not the Jews who are in Israel or the Jews who call themselves Jews are the ones. But they are scattered around the world. There is some of them or many of them will believe in Christ and they will receive him as their savior. And those one who are the ones who will make it to the rapture. The other one, there is still some of the children of uh, Israel will not make it to rapture because they re didn't recognize their Messiah. So when I discovered this, I was able to uh, understand more of that chronological order into the book of Zechariah, starting from 10. Then these are the people who are receiving Christ, mean Christian in another word, receive Christ born of God. Um, and the other who didn't, who has to go for the tribulation time to be able to... Um, uh, receive God again and then will be only one bride so uh, follow join me into this so the first chapter here into the the book of Revelation uh, chapter 10 what is saying uh, ask you O Lord rain into the time of the latter rain so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them shower of rain to everyone grass in the field 
So here, if you are expecting an end time uh, revival or, uh, you know, many people will come to the kingdom, I believe you can use that verse. But there will be rain, like God is giving a revive, uh, refreshing to his children. For the idols have spoken vanity, and the diviner have seen a lie, and have told, told false dreams they comfort in vain. Therefore, they went their way as a flock. They were troubled because there was no shepherd. So that's very sad things, because you see the world now is very troubled. Everyone wants to believe whatever he wants. They follow whatever diviner or whatever fortune teller or news or all those rubbish things who do not know about what God has as a plan. Even the devil himself, he has to go and, and wait for God to allow the time and the thing. He knows the prophecy, but he don't know the timing. Um, so the diviner will not tell us things. And um, this is here the time of refreshing of the Holy Spirit, the former rain and the latter rain uh, will be uh, uh, hopefully that the thirst of people will make the rain come because you desire demons, they come. You desire God, he comes to, uh, again. So desire the good things, you know. So that's the rain which is coming on that end time period. But on the same time, there is the idols, you know, uh, and um, the idols are speaking in vanity, they prophesy, they spoke in the news, oh, we know there is earthquake coming. This is kind of uh, uh, divination. I don't want to say that and you say, oh, you're very uh, fussy, but I don't know. They tell us about, you know, the weather coming, and this is telling things. And they wanted to put all together Christ and other in one religion, which never going to happen. But the, the people are that the, 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 all the, the people are around the world without shepherd. As you can see, they were troubled because there was no shepherd. Even the white people who are supposed to be carrying of, uh, you know, the Christianity that they night in a very, very troubling way. So they think they know it all. They think they have control on things and events. They think they can play the games and then play it again. And they will discover it's not into their hand anymore. People are scattered everywhere, and I can see them day after day. Um, and this is here. Uh, let's continue into the word reading. Uh, my anger was kindled against the shepherds. Uh, here is the church. The shepherds here is not Jesus, of course. Shepherds are the priests, the um, pastors, and all the leaders who are leading people. And I punish the goats. Because God would not punish the sheep. He would punish the goats who are not real. The Lord of hosts has visited his flock, the house of Judah. See here, he's talking about the house of Judah. It's a, the separation between the two. Uh, house of Israel and house of Judah and has made them as his godly horse in the battle out of him came forth the corner out of him the nail out and then he said and then and they shall be as a mighty man which treat down their enemies and uh, in the mire of the seat in the battle and they shall fight because the Lord is with them and the riders of the horse shall be confound uh, so here is going to be uh, like, uh, I was reading here in my notes that uh, the church readers, um, the Lord is not going to be with them. There is a great apostasy and So are we still recording? You can't hear me? Are we still recording? Did we stop recording? So then 
we can start again from where you just finished. All right, so I continue? Yeah, you don't have to do that all again. Yeah. All right, good, thank you. If that happens again, we'll just do the same thing. We'll pause it, and then we're just going to have to edit the video and put it together. That's, all. That's fine. Well, it doesn't matter to edit it or not. It's just a matter of let's do it, you know, and whatever. So, like he said here, uh, the the here is talking about the recording in progress. Sorry. So, into this part, you can see that the shepherds, the Lord is not happy with the shepherds, which are the 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 horse, the house of God leaders. And then uh, he speak speaking about that the Lord here in Zechariah six strengthen the house of Judah, and he will save the house of Joseph. See, he used the word Joseph here, uh, and later on he used the house of Ephraim. So Ephraim and Joseph. Can't you hear me? Uh, can you hear my screen isn't sharing. My screen is not sharing. Sorry. So what should I do then? Uh, you hover towards the bottom and you point arrow going up to share screen. Uh, share screen. Oh, yeah, you share screen. Sorry. Yeah. Right. So here is, uh, like you can see, in the, the light blue is the house of Joseph or Ephraim. The ten tribes and Judah on the dark uh, blue. I use always this color. So he's going to strengthen them. But here is um, that part which when revealed to me was just make things very easy. Um, and I will hiss for them. And he's in another version. In God, like the God, God will do a whistle. And he gathered them for I have redeemed them. And they shall increase as they have increased. So this is here talking about the children of God before the rapture. All the people who will accept Christ as their savior and all of them, which is one of them is you and I and all those children who accept Christ into the Christianity and maybe some more from other uh, culture, from Judaism or Buddhism or whatever. They receive Christ. Everyone who received Christ before the rapture, he will be one of the children of God coming from either Ephraim, the ten tribes or from Judah. And they will all uh, will uh, um, accept the Lord. And in verse 9, he's saying, And I will sow them among the people, and they shall remember me in far countries. God saw them. It means, you know, he threw them in everywhere, everywhere around the world. And they shall live into their children, and they turn again. So here is the, the diaspora or the um, dispersion, and then they will return they're called the Aliyah, the, not the Aliyah which happened in Israel, the modern day Israel. This is something done by the hand of God, it's not man made. So He will bring those people from everywhere. You offer the, the face to someone and He easily receive it on such a uh, hard time, and you get astonished how this happened. You know, when other people uh, mockers and, and, and scorn and just ridiculize and make themselves smart. They're not, this is not the children of Israel or children of God, children of Abraham. They are the children of the devil and they will reject him. So you can see here that the Lord is saying that he will sow them as he spread them around. And they shall remember me in the far countries. You go there into whatever culture you're in and, um, and then you want to know the Lord. And I will bring them again also. Out of the land, so I want you to see Egypt and Assyria, how, my, how many times and, and those people, uh, how many times is repeated, because uh, this is here really um, the things which are not approved by many people, but these are the main people, because I said the remnant of uh, Judah went to Egypt, and the ten tribes went to Assyria, Iraq, uh, um, Assyria, and Lebanon, and they spread all around. They are not America, they're not the British, and they're not the African-American or the people of the, uh, you know, um, of the land of the uh, America or all those indigenous people. It's none of this. They are the people who originally coming from those area, which some of them stuck Egypt. They're stuck in Egypt. They are the Orthodox, very hard head people over there from Judah and other ones from the tribe of uh, the 10 tribes spread over this area. But then there will be after that like movement of those nations. But after this movement, the end up of we all scattered in different culture. We don't even know that we are belonging. 
um, to the father Abraham or in a way. And um, they're trying to make the children of Abraham return, but not into the plan of God. The way that the children of Abraham were returned, they call it the pathway, Abrahamic pathway. And from many years, they're trying to do it. And the Pope is leading into those things and all the Middle East and money and his plan around the world, trying to create that uh, uh, Abrahamic pathway to be um, created. But that's human made. The way, the way that God is doing it, he's doing it individually. He comes, someone talk to you, you receive Christ, then you are child of Abraham. By DNA, not only spiritual. So you will find like really people are receiving the Lord in a very strange way. It's done by the end of the Lord. And uh, we can go into more details later, but I just want you to see the chronological order. And then in the verse 11, he say. And he shall pass through sea with affliction. There will be a little of difficulty. Shall smite the waves in the sea and the deep of the rivers shall dry up. And the pride of Assyria. So these people who were Assyrian, uh, who were scattered, you know, the ten tribes, they have to go down. And, um, and the scepter of Egypt should also uh, depart. It means this nation has to humble themselves to be able to be receiving the Christ in the way that he wanted. And I will strengthen them in the Lord, and they shall walk up and down in his name, said the Lord. So here is the, the place of the great evangelism or the great um, uh, hand of God picking all his children from every culture. But, you know, he is really insisting on many times on those specific nations, uh, uh, but the other nations are included because they scatter from here and there. So if how do I know if I'm a child of Abraham or not? If I accept Christ, I'll be one of them. And one day you will see how, uh, you know, you went from one place to another, your ancestors, and how you landed into that place. So Jews, non-Jews are lying to you. They say they are Jews and you are a Gentile Christian. There is no such term, term of Gentile Christian. Gentile is heathen. And Gentile means like you are not really, uh, you reject the message of God. So you cannot be a Gentile Christian. You could be child of Abraham from any uh, tribe. And now you are regathered into the, the kingdom of God. We go to the chapter 11. And chapter 11 is uh, one of the very difficult chapter, chapters. It's um, the tribulation. And the remnant of Jacob. Like, and so, like I said, the first chapter is where the church and every one of the child of God will be receiving Christ. Now, these are the remnant, which are the children of Abraham, 12 tribes, 10 and 2, and two which didn't receive Christ yet. And because God wants them to return to him, he will open the door for them in a way to be able to receive salvation. But because they're very hard, they didn't get the first wave before the rapture. They are, uh, have to enter into the tribulation with all its bitterness to be converted. And that's the, the bad part. So what he's saying here, uh, open your door, O Lebanon, uh, that the fire may devour the cedar. Is the flock doomed to slaughter? So many people will die here. Uh, how will free tree for the cedar? Uh, and, and we go into the verse 4 and he's saying, Thus said the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter. And, and then he said um, on verse 6, For I will no more pity the inhabitant of the land. There will be no pity. There will be really um, calamity and death and, and, and things happening. It's called into the Old Testament the trouble of Jacob. These are the children of Abraham who didn't receive their Messiah. And they have to receive him. And we see now when they're going to receive him. And the turnover of the second um, part of the children. The first one, they went into the rapture. Those one didn't go. Um, and he's saying here uh, that the Lord, he will have no mercy. I have no pity on the inhabitant of the land, said the Lord. But lo, I will deliver the man, everyone into his neighbor's hand and into the hands of his king and they shall smite the land out of their hand i will not deliver them though if you see what's happening around us is bad or horrible or unfair 
Now this is gonna be every man is delivered to the man of his neighbor. Your neighbor is to come and attack um, the, the the ruler of the land, the land. The king will attack. That will smite the land. That will be really a uh, lot of calamity on that time. And then I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor, of the flock. I took unto me two staffs. Uh, staff, which means two, uh, two sticks. That's the word staffs here. The one I call beauty. So he is calling beauty. Um, this is uh, one of them and the other one called bands. Those are the names that the Lord is giving again to the ten tribes and the... Uh, oh, sorry, the colors are wrong. This is the the, the two and the ten tribes is, is describing them with these two names. Uh, so there will be here one of them, the ten tribes, and the other one is the two tribes. So he will have to hand, and you know the Zechariah, when he put them together, I don't have a picture for it now, but, uh, and, and three shepherds uh, also I cut off in one month, and my soul loathes them, and their soul also abhor me. Um, there will be leaders here um, that the Lord will hate, and you can see you now that this is not the, the leaders, the spiritual leaders of the church, because they already uh, missed the rapture. So that will, not, that will lead people into, uh, uh, and, and when he say um, shepherd, uh, he means like uh, spiritual leaders. Uh, he's not talking about.